brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The ultimatum that DOE gave retired Colonel David Cruz was he either quit running for lieutenant governor or resign as an ROTC instructor at JFK and face termination. After a petition sent by former Senator Robert Klitschke blew the lid on the legality of running for higher office while holding a government job, regardless if that employee was classified or unclassified. DOE firing crews on Monday. It did make me feel good to tell you the truth. Not good at all. So, uh, that, that was my livelihood. Why didn't anybody catch us at the very beginning and inform me? I would have never gone forward. And wait till the time I file my candidacy. Uh, boy, they really fumbled the ball on this. They really did, Carmen. Right. And now they're backtracking and I'm now collateral damage in this whole process. Cruz tells KUAM he sought legal counsel before filing. His contract signed off by Governor Calvo and Attorney General Elizabeth Barrett Anderson. The AG admitting, however, she would have never signed off had she known Cruz's contract was to be used as a way to circumvent the Mini Hatch Act, which prevents government employees from campaigning. I'm here to clarify the review of the contract was not for the purpose of allowing Mr. Cruz to run for political office. It was um, to place him in the position of an unclassified employee who, uh, employee again, I'm not saying consultant, I'm saying employee uh, for the Department of Education's uh, ROTC program. If I had known that this was the purpose of the contract, uh, I probably would have given it a queer eye and, and looked at it. I don't know. I don't know going backwards in time, uh, you know, how I would have taken the fact if this was to s subvert and to circumvent the Mini Hatch Act, I probably would have said no. To that, Cruz responds. They all signed off on it. Clearly, somebody fumbled along the way. And Klitschke petition really cites some really strong arguments. So why didn't they pick that up? So I'm really questioning the whole leadership and the legal system. I, mean, I hate to say this, but Fernandez and Liz Barry Anderson, man, they just threw me under the bus here. If they had clearly said right at the beginning, this whole thing smells and stinks, I would have stopped it right there. I would never run as a candidate. Cruz says he's willing to take the matter to court, now wondering what it means for future teachers who want to make a run in an election. Find out what really is the true law here for candidates like me that convert to and unclassified status and want to run for political office. Let's get this thing straight. Cruz says he now has time to focus on the campaign. They will be announcing their platform Thursday. Superintendent John Fernandez has continuously declined to comment on the issue, calling it a quote, personnel matter. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Terlahi. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.